How's it? I am Mr. Willie 19 and this is the Second Amendment show coming at you at the on the YT, the YouTube. Huh. Excuse me. Friggin' hot, man. It was a little warm here in Southern California. I just got back from a long, well, not a long walk, uh, only about a mile and a half. I was carrying a bunch of crap. Uh, I'm a little, my fat ass is a little winded. I'm going to be stranded here. I'm marooned. I can't run them up for the next couple of days. I'm trying to leave here last night, pulling out of the driveway, and I don't know what the R's got up to on the on my car, but when it went to shift into second, automatic, and zzzz, the hell? Did I bump the shift lever? Knock it into neutral or something? And, uh, you know, there's like hitting neutral when you're going from first to second on your motorcycle when you go to you know shift it up into second and you only click it halfway anyway um so my, my transmission and my motor that it's made by daimler benz uh it's not a high-end fancy mercedes it's don't <laughs> don't think that for a second uh but it is when it was made it was um one of the trickiest things that they made at that time in you know in the late 90s well i'm sorry <laughs> in the mid 2000s um what it is is you pull it when you go from, pull from neutral to drive on most automatics you can also have a second and a first as you go down after drive this goes just one one more spot down and then it it's kind of like a sport mode it's paddle shift and you know and you just click it this way to downshift, click it that way to upshift. So I pulled pulled it down and got it back into first, and you know I took the tack up a little higher this time, um, getting it getting it to uh, start to wind out a little bit, and clicked over to second, and again, son of a bitch, I got no second gear, so I'm stranded here. At least I didn't have to go in the office today. Uh, so I took the car to the training shop, it's about a mile and a half from here, and walked back. And I'm such I'm so fucking stupid. I uh <laughs> I figured screw it, I gotta have the transmission worked on anyway, right? So I uh I just put the fucker in first, <laughs> threw the flashers on and drove it at a whopping three five miles an hour tops <laughs> for the mile and a half to the training shop <laughs> and walked back. <laughs> um Screw it. I, was, I would have taken it there no matter where I was. I would have had to it if I had to. People own it are old friends of the family. I've known them longer than I can remember. Our parents were friends before I was born. So uh, I'm walking back. And I wasn't sure if I was going to leave my camera gear in the car or not. I've got some in there. Um, and just in case, something that I rarely do in the daylight here in the People's Republic of California, I was open carrying. And I just walked in and I haven't unarmed myself yet. Um, and I have a Phobos with a couple magazines. We have to unloaded open carry here in California. Now I know immediately um, some some of you gun guys out there, you experienced ones. We all us guys that have been around for a while. Uh, half of us think there's it's not really a problem, but we're the ones who live in places like California. Uh, you guys that have it a little more easy that we're so jealous of. I actually get concealed carry easy. Can't do that in California unless you're a movie star or a judge. Um, you think that we're idiots forever unloaded open carrying, that it's playing with fire, and just waiting for something bad to happen, dangerous. I understand all sides of it, but again, I digress. One of the reasons I'm making this video is I need to get some practice in so I become more. I See, here I go. I'm not even going to redo this. Fuck it. I'm going to have to watch it and make myself feel bad, so I'll try harder. I digress so far. I feel so ridiculous. I'm the only one here at Camp Run Amok talking out loud to myself. I feel like a four-year-old playing with his G.I. Joe or something. Uh, it's just, I feel like an idiot. I don't know how you guys do it. There's a bunch of you guys out there that I respect for your knowledge. Um, I'm a pretty hardcore gun guy. I've been for a long time. Uh, I respect you even more now that you can sit in front of the camera and make videos. Uh, I, so what can I say? Anyway, so I'm thinking I need to make a video, get a little practice, and I don't know when I'll post it. 
But my channel is called The Second Amendment Show, and I am Mr. Wheelie19. I created the channel with Second Amendment issues in mind. It was made to discuss legal issues and social issues that are facing firearms owners today here in America. And I haven't done that yet. I've just, you know, been goofing off a little, trying to, uh, trying to get a little experience under my belt. You know, it's like drawing from concealment. You slow and steady will make you fast. Just, just need to put the time in. That's what I'm trying to do. Please bear with me. When I was walking back from the, uh, the tranny shop, got all this gear hanging off of me, about $30,000 worth of camera gear, you know, photographer's backpack and a, a big athletic bag. Uh, it has lighting equipment in it and another shoulder bag with some more gear. Now, here at Camp Runamuck, th this is a storage unit, basically. Uh, my brother and I are going halves on it. Neither one of us live here. Uh, it's called Camp Runamuck because there's no rules. It's just it's a place to keep... I keep my Doom Buggy. He keeps his Yamaha Banshee, his quad. He's got a really tricked out one. I got a couple of dirt bikes. We're both recently divorced. We both have recently become apartment dwellers. He's got his snap-on rollaway toolbox in his fucking living room. <laughs> and I have no place to put mine. I mean, I have a, I have a parking spot that's covered. I don't have no garage for vehicle, motorcycles, the mountain bike, the beach cruiser, the surfboards, the tents, and on and on. What do I do with all this shit? So we went and halves on a on a mobile home, and it just uses a storage unit. He only lives about five miles from here. I live about ninety in the opposite direction, which it's only about an hour and a half drive. Um, so this isn't a nice neighborhood. It's but it's really close to the beach, so there's a lot of tourists. You never know really what's going to be coming through. The transmission shop, however, even though it's only a mile and a half away, is not necessarily on the best side of the tracks. So I chose to open carry uh, when I went there. Not that I would ever, I'm not going to shoot somebody over $30,000 worth of camera gear. They didn't have a gear. I don't care about that. But everyone is, even if you're a new guy to, to firearms or self-defense issues, uh, everyone has seen the stop and rob surveillance tapes. You know, some guy going to get a Slurpee and he holds up the store and poor clerk hands over everything that's asked of him with absolutely no hesitation. Bad guy. He's on his way out the door, and he stops, and he turns around, raises a gun, and blows away the poor clerk. And that's the only reason I was open carry. He didn't have the fucking gear. He can walk away with my camera stuff. It's I can't afford to replace it. It's not insured, but he can walk away with it in his life. Uh, that's fine with me. But if he happens to turn around and point something at me, I'm hoping to beat him to the draw. There you go. And that got me to thinking. I need to go ahead and start making some videos about firearms and firearms related issues. I'm going to be the Second Amendment show. But what the hell can I talk about that hasn't been done to death? And I started thinking, God, you know, you're, there's a lot of experienced gun guys out there. They're just like me. A lot of them are close to my age range. Some of them are quite a bit younger, but they also started uh, training with firearms. At a young age, I didn't start training with firearms until I was 20. I'm in my mid 40s now, so I've only been out of 40 years or 20 some odd years, which is not very long for someone my age. But I'm not a newbie either. So what the hell am I going to do? Well, I'm a newbie to making videos. Why don't I make a video for the newbies into firearms? Um, the guys that are just now getting into shooting. I, that I can do. Right on. Uh, what am I going to do that has been done to death? And I came up with the most brilliant idea. You people have been making videos. you got 195 of them on your channel or something like that. You're going to be kicking yourselves in the ass when you hear this. Some of my brothers and sisters out there. Um, never been done. It's a brand new thing. And it's, uh, it's very unique. It's very innovative. And I'm very proud to have thought it up. Um, but this is not for you experienced firearm guys. You already know this information. But this is for the newbies. What I'm going to show you guys today is something really bitchy. And I'm proud to show it to you. Uh, I can show you that I'm armed. This here, this is a Glock 19. We'll get into why I was carrying this particular one later. That's, that's not what I'm here to talk about. This is a Glock 19. And what you, you've never seen, never heard, no one's ever told you, there's no videos out there about it. Chances are, if you're going to buy a new handgun, chances are 
more likely that you're going to buy a semi-auto rather than a revolver. If you get a revolver, you have a new one, you want to discuss that platform on how to do this trick, uh, send me a PM and, and I'll show you. But we're going to go ahead with the dude's semi-auto that even the experienced gun guys know nothing about. This is uh, You're going to earn mad respect at the gun range for this. I am going to show you, Mr. Wheelie, my gift to you, you new guys, I'm going to show you how to field strip the Glock 19. <laughs> I'm such a fucking dork. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay, at least we got all the experienced gun guys out of the room. They're going, that fucking wheelie guy is an idiot, man. I know, my whole life I've been, all I've heard is, for a guy with genius IQ, he's fucking stupid. We're not going to uh, train you field strip tonight. <laughs> Glock IT. I'm going to turn this down. What I am going to show you, though, is when you get your new gun home and you're sitting there on the coffee table and you're reading, you're tweaking through the owner's manual and uh, you're working the controls on it and, you know, fuck that new car smell. I like that new gun smell. Uh, that's, that's fun. I mean, just getting a handle and look at it. You're going to get to a point in the owner's manual where it, uh, the instructions are on how to uh, field strip the thing. When you do, when you get your weapon field strip, safety guys, all your hall monitors. Okay, you cool. There's a gun safe off camera right there. Okay, new guys. When you get your uh, when you get your weapon field stripped, take your your slide and your um, and the barrel, recoil spring, guide rod, blah blah blah. Put that back in the box the gun came in and. Hopefully you don't have any ammunition sitting near it while you're just getting yourself familiar with the gun. Take the gun, take the box, take it back in the other room where the safe is. Hopefully you have one. If not, put it in its hiding spot, whatever. And come back out, and all you have left sitting on the coffee table is the frame. God, I'm a, I really am an idiot, huh? All you have left sitting on the coffee table is the frame. Take the frame, because this is so important, and watch TV with your finger indexed right here. This is a very important lesson. Um, there's what's generally accepted. Is there's these four major rules. I'll do another video on that some other day, but there's eight million of them out there. You sit there with just the frame and with the remote control for the TV and as long as you promise not to go near your slide barrel or any ammunition or anything like that, go get yourself a bottle of beer and uh, watch television. And you will be surprised how learn quickly you learn to do this. This is so, so important. Because when you go to the range, the regular guys are going to be looking at you like you're something they just wiped off the bottom of their shoe. They don't have a problem with you. They just don't want to get accidentally get shot in the ribs. They're making sure that you're keeping your finger off the trigger and they're pointing your gun all over the damn place with bad muzzle manners. You're sweeping people with it. Everyone sweeps something when that they shouldn't once in a while. But this, this is the mouse inside the trigger guard is the house. Keep the mouse out of the house. These things are purposely ergonomically designed for obvious reasons. Hand this to someone who's never handled a firearm before. Guarantee you they're going to go like this. That's a no-no. Keep your finger off the fucking trigger. This is the bang button. Keep your finger off there. It's made, it's made to shoot. It's made to shoot bullets. Send rounds down range. So your finger should naturally go there but not until you want the bullet to go. You want this thing to make a loud bark. And you well, you naturally want to do this, and that's just sit around with the frame with your index finger, or with, yeah, with your index finger indexed on the frame. And you'd be surprised how quickly it becomes second nature. You won't even know you're doing it. it less than a day, three hours one night, three hours the next night, three hours the third night, and it's like breaking a new pair of shoes. All of a sudden it just fits. You want to, Next time you go to the gun shop and you say, hey, may I see that what, that, that M1 Garand or that shotgun? The guy hands you a long gun. You never held one in your life. Without realizing it, you're going to... And that's a good thing. Sit around with your frame. Index your finger. All right? And uh, you experienced gun guys out there, if you were able to stomach this, if you didn't just shake your head and kick your computer and go, that wheelie's weird. If you're still here, fire off a PM if you see something, because I've been teaching some new guys for a while. If you see something wrong, let me know. Um, I'm open. I am also Mr. Wheeler 19. This is the Second Amendment show here on the YouTube. I'm hoping this message finds you and finds you well. Cheers.